welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History video. Now, Wendy, you mentioned that you like hearing the uh, bells of our church tower in the background. Well, today, especially for you, lots of bells. Um, there's actually not a good time for me to record this video today because um, we've got a three-day uh, fiesta here in our village because it's our village uh, saints days. We've got two village saints. And so we have the bells going off all the time, calling people to mass or marking sort of special events. We've got fires burning in the streets. We've got fireworks going off all the time, which the pets don't enjoy. Uh, so it's rather noisy at the moment, but yes, that's the call to mass. There's a special mass and procession. Uh, hopefully uh, we won't have the band starting yet. They're not due to start yet, but that will be trumpets and all sorts. Um, so yes, right, let's get back to Tudor history. I think the bells are quite poignant today, really, because we're going to be talking about an execution. So the bells are tolling uh, the doom of Edward Seymour today. So we're going to go back to 1552 today. Um, I'm going to read an excerpt from my book uh, on this day in Tudor history. Between eight o'clock and nine o'clock on the morning of the 22nd of January, 1552, former Lord Protector of England, Edward Seymour, Duke of Somerset, was executed by beheading on Tower Hill in London. Now, Edward Seymour was the brother of Queen Jane Seymour, also the brother of uh, Thomas Seymour, uh, Baron Sudley, and he had been Lord Protector of England, meaning that he'd sort of led the government while um, Edward VI was um, in his mi minority. Edward VI sadly never got to his majority. Right, the famous Tudor chronicler, Charles Risley, some people say Charles Roy Risley, but that not right, that's how it's spelt, but not said. Charles Risley, or Risley, recorded his execution. Friday, the 22nd of January, 1552, Edward Seymour, Duke of Somerset, was beheaded at Tower Hill, a four nine of the clock in the forenoon, which took his death very patiently. But there was such a fear and disturbance among the people suddenly before he suffered that some tumbled down the ditch and some ran towards the houses thereby and fell that it was marvel to see and hear but how the cause was god knoweth so that's a little bit odd there is a note on that page of charles risley's chronicle explaining edward the sixth appears to have been perfectly convinced of his uncle's guilt and in that conviction to have given himself no further concern about the Duke, only noting in his diary that the Duke of Somerset had his head cut off upon Tower Hill between eight and nine o'clock in the morning. Which seems very cold, doesn't it, to just write that in your diary when that man has not only uh, been helping you rule England, but is also your uncle. Perhaps uh, perhaps it doesn't really mean anything. Perhaps that's reading too much into it. But King Edward VI had now lost both of his uncles, Edward and Thomas Seymour, to the executioner, both for alleged treason. Now, Edward Seymour's remains were taken to the uh, chapel in the grounds of the Tower of London, the chapel of St. Peter Ad Vincula, or St. Peter in Chains, and records show that um, they were buried um, next to Queen Anne Boleyn in the chancel area there. So if you go to the tower, um, you'll be able to visit the chapel. Now, at the time I'm recording this, the only way of visiting uh, the chapel of St Peter Ad Vincula is to join in with the yeoman warders tour as they tend to finish there or to wait till I think it's about an hour before closing when the chapel actually opens to the public um, otherwise you can't you can't get in there um, but it is the resting place of course of uh, Edward Seymour, uh, Anne Boleyn, Catherine Howard, uh, Jane Boleyn, Margaret Pole, Lady Jane Grey, all sorts of prominent people are buried there. So if you want to go and pay your respects, the chancel area is roped off, but you can just stand by 
the rope and look at their memorial tiles which were put there by the Victorians and just sort of, you know, pay your respects. Um, it is a beautiful chapel and it's a working um, place of worship so sometimes it's closed for special services as well but it's well worth visiting. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. The bells seem to have stopped uh, ringing out the doom of Edward Seymour. So that was uh, today's On This Day in Tudor History, the 22nd of January, 1552, the execution of Edward Seymour, Lord Protector of England. Um, if you want to be notified about these videos, then you can subscribe, the button below, and do have a browse of this channel as well. I've got lots of videos um, about uh, the Berlins, Anne Boleyn, uh, Tudor history, of course, all of these On This Day ones, and I'll be here every day of this year with another On This Day in Tudor history. Take care. Bye-bye.